everybody, this is Sherry, and welcome to Sherry's World. Today I'm gonna to be making an old-fashioned date bread. I found me a date bread that I liked that didn't have a whole bunch of sugar in it. The one that I grew up with had just seemed too sweet and I wanted to try to cut back on some sugar. And this old-fashioned date bread, it has some, some ingredients that I had never had tried before and it was interesting, so I gave it a shot. It uses a cup of coffee, strong coffee. And it uses, instead of sugar, it uses um, a half a cup of light brown sugar and some nutmeg, and that is about, about a half a teaspoon. And you will also need like a, um, a pinch of salt. And then you got um, some, two cups of flour and you got uh, two, two eggs that are gonna be beaten. And you're also gonna have chopped dates. You're gonna have pitted and don't make them too small just because you want them to show up in the recipe after it's baked. Then you use a teaspoon and a half of vanilla and about a half a teaspoon of baking powder, or no, a teaspoon of baking powder. I actually remembered to put both the baking powder and baking soda in, in, in my display here to show everybody. And I guess let's get started. I put the dates in a very large bowl because you're gonna be putting all your stuff together in this bowl. And then you put in the hot coffee. Strong coffee. Then you're gonna put in the melted butter. A little salt. The baking soda. brown sugar. Stir this up. I want to dissolve the sugar. Then you're gonna set it aside for 20 minutes. Now I'm going to beat these eggs. Now with the beaten eggs, put sifted flour. I need something for that. Then put in the baking powder and the nutmeg.
Okay, now I'm gonna fold this together. It'll be a crumbly mixture. Okay, it's been 20 minutes. And as you can see, this is the crumbly mixture is ready to go. And in this step, you, you could add the walnuts or any type of nuts that you like inside of the batter, but you know me, I put it on the top. And for the vanilla, you want a teaspoon and a half. Mix that up. Then you add this. I've also at this time got my oven preheated to 350 and I got my two loaf pans buttered and ready to go. And here it is, a kind of a uh, hearty looking. And I put them in the oven. And it should take about 40 minutes, but you wanna use the, the test to make sure that it's all well done. And then you can cool it and we'll see how it looks. Here is the finished bread, nice and hearty, still very soft and, you know, chewy. Try to pick up one piece. There you go. And of course, over here, you'll see I got my things all ready to go. You can break it up and put it in the freezer up to four weeks. And nice with coffee and, and um, chilly, snowy winter morning. Have a good evening, everybody.